You're watching Arise News now. Now, with sanctions over its nuclear program crippling Iran's economy and regional political conflict that threatens to spill over, it would seem that Iran has enough to worry about. But a group calling themselves and the social and cultural cultural activists of Kazvin province last week opened another battleground over epilation or hair removal. In an open letter, the group condemned the practice of epilation advertised openly in hair salons. The issue has now prompted a wide array of commentary on social media all the way up to the supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. Well, with us in the studio now is Potkin Azamir, an Iranian journalist and blogger now living in the UK. And he's here to tell us more about this controversy. You'd have thought they had more to worry about than you would have thought hair so. removal. You would have thought so. I used to um, um, produce and write a, a new satire show that went on for eight series and people always used to say to me how do you come up with all this material and I used to say well I don't it's just the news provides me all the material you know I'm, I'm given all the material and once again you know it seems like some sort of Monty Python story but it's actual real news in, in Iran. So who are this group the uh, social and cultural cultural activists at Kazvin province? I still don't know <laughs> <laughs> I looked up their names I mean uh, it's a small provincial town uh, I've got no idea who these people are but they were important enough and that's been to, to warrants that meeting that was held between the uh, the public prosecution the hair salon guilds and the uh, you know all these other meetings you know it seems to be a very very pressing and important meeting so they must have had some clout in that thing. <laughs> this would have been going on but presumably epilation has been going on for not just hundreds of years it's you know sugaring and that is very much uh, what happens in the Middle East and all that it's 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 part of the culture so why would they object to the to it now <laughs> again another part that's a mystery to me. I think it's just the the seeing the, the advertisements on a hair salon somehow produce these titillating images for these people that they just found too provocative for some reason and prompted them, them to sort of like forget about all the other issues that you know could be important in their lives and you know and, and, and go for something like this. Um, but it, it's interesting how far they got and you know that's uh, um, they were listened to. Indeed, and it went all the way to the top, and we had a pronouncement from the top on epilation. Yes, I mean, uh, <laughs> which included the Supreme Leader, as you said, uh, you know, the highest authority in Iran. Also included uh, another Grand Ayatollah, Ayatollah Makarim Shirazi, who has representative offices in London in um, Harrow Road. Uh, and, I mean, this is a Holocaust-denying, extremely reactionary uh, Ayatollah. Nevertheless, he was uh, uh, given a, a grant by Brent's Council uh, for promoting religious freedom and tolerance for some reason and uh, he also uh, issued a fat one epilation which was more or less the same as the uh, supreme leader that you know even the same uh, gender cannot look at someone else's genitals but um, uh, he went on to sort of like to say that uh, if it's like somewhere under armpit it's okay so yeah but what about legs? Is it okay for the lower legs, not the upper legs? That wasn't mentioned, sir. So. <laughs> or, or the arms? I mean, it, it, is, it doesn't. It was specifically it's said. As, uh, the example was like under the armpits is okay, but <laughs> genitals is definitely a no-no. And I saw a very uh, interesting cartoon with regards to this as well. Someone was trying to do like a waxing, but looking at herself in the mirror, so that she was. <laughs> I'd be very worried to go for an epilation uh, uh, in Iran if I in, in Gazbin, if, if if I was there now. So. And so Certainly amongst uh, metrosexuals in uh, the Western world, I mean, hairless men is, is now the thing. Everybody gets, uh, you know, buffed and had hair taken off. Is that a feature in Iran? Well, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> 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 but um, uh, the, the other issues that have come up uh, in, in last week was um, uh, uh, plucking their eyebrows. Uh, men plucking their eyebrows is not really uh, is not allowed anymore, uh, or some salons have been banned to do. Uh, and then there's also this story about the um, jagged haircuts. That's um, that's also the, the the devil. Yeah, they seem devil to think that style. people. Yeah, it's a devil worshipping style. And I'm pretty sure that you know these youngsters that have this jagged hairstyle, they're not devil worshippers. <laughs> but um, it reminds me also about the happy video. Do you remember that one? I mean, uh, it was just a group of kids. They were they, they produced this. You know, they dance around with this happy music uh, to say that you can actually be happy in Iran. And then they were all arrested. And apart from the police force, the country's intelligence forces, in secret intelligence services, were also deployed to arrest these. And what country deployed? Its secret intelligence services to arrest youngsters for dancing to happy music. You would have thought they had more things to worry about. You would have uh, thought so. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.